All right, what we have here are a pair of intersecting lines. And whenever you have a pair of intersecting lines, four angles are formed. So we have one angle here, one angle here, and these angles are opposite from each other. And the angles that are on complete opposite sides are called vertical angles. And vertical angles are always congruent. So whatever the angle measure of A is, is gonna be identical to the angle measure on the opposite side. And for these two angles here, this one is given 152 degrees. The one on the other side, which is vertical to this angle right here, is also going to be congruent. So we should know that whatever W is added to 73 is going to be equal to 152. So what we're gonna do is solve for W, and then we're gonna identify the angle measure of each one of these four angles. So what we're gonna do first, because these angles are vertical angles, is we're gonna take this expression here, W plus 73, and we are gonna set that equal to 152 degrees. Now remember, the reason that we're setting these equal to each other is because we know that with intersecting lines, angles on opposite sides are equal to each other. We call those vertical angles. And whenever you have things that are congruent to each other, that just means they're equal to each other. That means that this expression is equal to 152 degrees. So basically, we're just trying to figure out what do we add to 73? So it's going to be equivalent to 152. So all we have to do here is subtract 73 from both sides. And 152 minus 73 is going to give us 79. And that leaves us with W. But let's understand 79 is not an angle measure. That is just the value of our variable w. If we were to plug 79 into w and then add it to 73, that would give us 152 degrees. All right, now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna figure out what the value of a is. Now we can clearly see that a is an acute angle, so that means it's going to be less than 90 degrees. And to me, it kind of looks like it's around like a 30 degree angle or something like that, but we wanna get the precise measurement. Now we should be able to see that this angle here, 152, and angle A are supplementary angles because if you put them right next to each other, we can see that it forms a straight angle. So we know that whatever the measure of A is plus the 152 degree angle is going to have a sum of 180 degrees. So what we're going to do is subtract 152 from 180 to figure out what A is equal to. And when you subtract those two values, we end up getting 28 degrees. So the measure of angle A is 28 degrees. And if you add that with the 152 degree angle, you get that 180 degree sum. And the angle that's opposite from A on the other side, which is a vertical angle with A, would also be 28 degrees. And of course, because this is 152, this angle down here is 152. And if you were to add all four of these angle measures together, because you go all the way around in a circle, you would get 360 degrees total. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Till next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.